Number 1. Baya Luisa National Park. Recognized as the country's oldest national park, Baya Luisa is located northeast of Warsaw, adjacent to the Belarusian border. Since 1979, it's been on the UNESCO World Heritage Site list, thanks to its rich biodiversity and undisturbed nature, part of the park has been left untouched for over 800 years, and is now only accessible to biologists working on-site as well as small guided tourist groups of no more than 20 people. Number 2. Campinos National Park. An easy 30 minutes drive from Warsaw City Center, Campinos, also referred to as Pusa Campinoska, is the capital's main weekend getaway, where you're likely to see many cyclists and casual strollers, especially on a sunny day. If you're lucky you might also spot some beavers, lynxes, or elks roaming among the pine trees. Number 3. Campinos National Park. An easy 30 minutes drive from Warsaw City Center, Campinos, also referred to as Pusa Campinoska, is the capital's main weekend getaway, where you're likely to see many cyclists and casual strollers, especially on a sunny day. If you're lucky you might also spot some beavers, lynxes, or elks roaming among the pine trees. To find out more about the species. Number 4. Tatra National Park. The Tatra National Park is a great place to discover Poland's highest mountain peaks, endemic animals such as the Tatra chamois, marmot, gray wolf and lynx, and plant species including spruce, fir, larch and Carpathian birch. It's the Poles' favorite skiing resort during the winter, and a great hiking destination all year round. Stay in the region's main town of Zakopane. Number 5. Bory Tokolski National Park. The Bory Tokolski National Park in northern Poland covers an area of over 45 square kilometers characterized by peatlands, pine forests, lush green meadows and long and narrow post-glacial lakes. From deer and wild boar, to trout, crane, eagle owl and bat, you can encounter numerous animal species inhabiting the area. Aside from hiking or cycling, in the summer you can also discover the park kayaking through its Burda River. Number 6. Bieszczady National Park. Another heaven for nature lovers is the Bieszczady National Park, located in the remote southeastern corner of the country bordering with Ukraine and Slovakia. Considerably less touristy than the Tatra National Park, it's a great alternative for people looking for a quiet, isolated getaway. Facilities are also quite limited. The highest peak Tarnica measures only 1,346 meters, 4,416 feet, above sea level, but offers splendid views over the area densely populated by woodlands and meadows. Number 7. Karkonos National Park. Over in the southwest of Poland by the border with the Czech Republic, Karkonos Park is particularly interesting for its peculiarly shaped pilgrim rock formations, flat bare mountaintops and wild mouflons, which were brought over from Corsica and Sardinia over a century ago. The main tourist hubs with plenty of accommodation options are Karpax and Sklarska Pariba. Number 8. Valin National Park. Covering a sizable part of the Valin Island on the western side of the Polish coast, the Valin National Park's highlights include a stunning 15 km long stretch of steep sea cliffs, which recede approximately 80 cm per year due to erosion, lakes and rivers surrounded by pine trees, numerous bird species and a small bison reserve. The park is in close proximity to Miedzizdroz, which is one of the biggest beach resorts in the country and gets very crowded during the summer. Number 9. Pinini National Park. This park is located in the heart of Pinini, one of the country's most picturesque mountain ranges. By far the most popular activity is taking a raft down the winding Dunajek River, available from April to October, but there is a lot more to discover. 34 kilometers of walking trails will lead you to an observation deck on the sharply peaked Three Crowns Mountain. Number 10. Stalo Mountains National Park. The park covers a large part of the Stalo Mountains, also known as Table Mountains, in the Lower Silesia region, which are characterized by unique plated rock formations and labyrinth-like passages. The park's vast green spruce forests are also home to a variety of flowers such as Turks cap lilies, 
carline thistles and globeflower as well as mouflons, deer, grouse and eagle oaks. Since the Middle Ages. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.